This is a demo on how you can pull together a view of all of the information of a particular subject using various means of displaying that data. In this case, we are going to focus on the Regulatory Search Dashboard demo. First, you must log into Cortellus Labs, click on the menu icon, and select Cortellus APIs. Scroll down and click the Regulatory API icon. In the gray box, select the Demos Shortcut and then click the Regulatory Search Dashboard link. On the Regulatory Search web page, you just need to enter a simple query, in this case, self-monitoring. Once this loads, you can see this returned over 400 results and contains various subsets of data. This data comes from passing the Get Regulatory Results operation of the Regulatory API. From this overview page, you can see there are five charts displaying the results from this query. These charts are all running from the same API, but are using various graphics, such as pie charts, bar graphs, and tables to display the data. Using the corresponding API call, we are currently displaying five of the 12 filters available on this overview page. The first pie chart refers to the category of the document and is directly associated with the regulatory doc category filter of the API call. Next is the countries map and it allows you to hover over a country, say the United States, to see the number of documents related to your query and the chosen country. The next pie chart shows the types and numbers of documents available that are associated with your query. Across the bottom you can see two vertical bar graphs. The first shows the language of the documents across the x-axis and the number of associated documents across the y-axis. The latter graph provides the regulatory version of the document across the x-axis and the number of associated documents across the y-axis. Each of these charts is a filter of the available regulatory data and can be used to drill down further in the results for more precise information. For instance, in the regulatory versions bar chart, you can hover over one of the bars associated with a particular value to see the version and the number of associated regulatory documents. This same behavior can be seen in all of the different charts examples shown on the regulatory overview page. By clicking on a bar in the graphic, you will see a pop-up window that displays all results for the version chosen. In these display windows, you will see nine columns of data from the document title to the added date. Clicking on the document title from the desired row will take you to the regulatory record for the associated document. This shows you both a snapshot of data from the regulatory API, including the status and abstract source information, etc., but also provides a link to open the actual regulatory document. This provides the full PDF document. If you prefer to narrow down the results, at the top of the Regulatory Search Overview page, you can click on Refine. As you can see, the Refine option allows you to choose various filters just to return a more exact result for your query. If you click Show Hide next to one of these filters, you can see choices listed out with the associated number of results for that filter. Once you've adjusted your filters, click the Refine button to narrow the results for your query. The Regulatory API allows one to integrate the most up-to-date regulatory documents and guidelines into your internal system. It can build a timeline of the development of particular regulation as well as show a map view of the relevant regulatory information. As you can see through the regulatory search, you can display the data in various tables, pie charts, bar graphs, etc all within one interface. There are also various ways to narrow down the data, eventually going directly to the individual regulatory record or document.